Blessings family, this is Voyager Shemayim, and this is Healing Hearts Prophetic Ministry. All right, and I have a little sermon for you today, and I pray it blesses your life. I pray, it, pray that it helps you get back to where you need to be and to stay where you need to be. But let's open up in prayer. Jesus, we come to you right now asking you for forgiveness of our sins, known and unknown, seen and unseen, heard and unheard. Bless us with your presence, bless us with your anointing. Speak to us powerfully in this time and moment. We invite your spirit, your presence, your angels, your spirit of prophecy in this moment. Heal our hearts. Prepare our hearts for this prophetic message. Prepare us to receive all that you would have us to receive. Take us to another level. Take us to another dimension. Take us further than we ever been taken out before. And do a great deep healing. A great deep healing. Heal us, Father. Heal us, heal us, heal us. Heal us. Heal us. And I hear him saying, I am the healer doing the healing. And I will heal. I will cause you to feel and know the real deal of the one who heals. Because when the one who heals is revealed, you will know to feel that you are the consecrated and the sealed. It is my glory to conceal and it is the work of kings to search out and reveal. There is none like me that can give such a spiritual meal and bring your breakthrough round back to you like a perfect wheel. I am the one who heals, doing the healing and the revealing. Thank you for that, Most High. I thank you for this word. Just use me as a vessel, as a mouthpiece. And let this word show up wherever it needs to show up. And let all those that need this word in this season be ready for it and to receive it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I'm back. And the title for today's message is called, Give Your All to Jesus. Give Your All to Jesus. All right, we've already done the prayer. Let's get into this. Just listen, be blessed by the word, and definitely take notes um, on any of the messages or any of the sentences that the Most High, the Spirit of Jesus, which is the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus, which is the test spirit of prophecy, will show you and highlight to you, okay? Once again, my name is Voyager Shemayim. Have you given your all to Jesus? Give more and more again. Give more and give more again. Start over. Do over get back in his divine order and start submitting to him all over again. Some people feel as though, you know, the Most High runs out of chances and so forth, or you run out of chances with the Most High. And 
we can all agree that time is not on our side. That as we say time is against us or the time is against us, meaning that it is humanly impossible to get back your time. It is humanly impossible to, you know, redeem the time per se, except it be for some divine providence and intervention that would bring around a situation or bring around an opportunity or a blessing to you again for you to do it again, it would seem. But when it comes to your relationship with Christ, always be quick to repent. Try again. Get up again. That's what makes you a righteous person. The ability to fall, as we say, or sin and get back up again. And keep on trying. Because that shows to the most high, you know, contrary to um, judgmental Christians, you know, you don't want to be saved. You don't want to be delivered. You're open that sin, doing all of that, this and that and this and that. Whether that is true or not, is that what the person that is struggling with a particular issue needs to hear? Is that words of comfort, edification, and exhortation? Or is that word of condemnation, judgment, ridicule, cursing? And if you're righteous, you're truly righteous, you will never stop loving Jesus. You will never stop trying to serve him. You will never stop trying to be the best servant for him you can be by getting up and keep on going. Get back in his divine order and start submitting to him all over again. If Jesus is Adonai, master, then everything you have belongs to him. Even your very own self and soul. You don't own any of it. Once he comes in, takes possession, takes residence in you, takes possession of you, you don't own anything anymore. Everything that you have, everything about you belongs to Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And it must always continue to be about Jesus. And if it isn't about Jesus, you know that it is about the Most High God, Elah. Ela, for those of you who don't know who the heck Ela is, Ela is the Aramaic name of God or the, the one true God, right? So I could say Ela or Elaha or Allah, and I would still be within the proper context, even though Aramaic isn't really a language used. But yeah, it was Allah that they would they used to say. So when I say Ela, I'm talking about Elohim. All right, so I just want to not have you confused there. Elah is your creator and owner. He desires to be worshipped by your gifts and offerings of joy. This should be with your money, possessions, relationships, spiritual abilities, and whatever else emanates from your being. Whatever forms of creative expression that you do or that you're about, Whatever forms of creative expression that you have tapped into, the ways to worship Allah are endless. Endless. Allow the creativity of the Most High to lead you into new and different ways of praise and worship. So, many of you have, may have grown up in conservative churches, conservative environments, and so forth, and... Some churches this day to this day, they do not use instruments claiming that it's fleshly, it's carnal, demonic. I don't even understand when you read about Israel, ancient Israel, how they used to praise with the tambourines and the drums and the, you know what I mean? So music is powerful. It is spiritual. It is creative. It is music is frequency. Music is vibration, and vibration is everything. Frequency is everything. You understand? My voice is a vibration. And when you hear my voice, it creates a reaction. 
in your ears, in your body, in your mind, in your soul, in your spirit. When you see my visage and my being, my physical representation of the God within, that is a vibration. So when you see me, you see a vibration which calls itself on one level, Voyager Shemaya. But I truly am, and you truly are, I am. So allow him to lead you into new ways of praise and worship. What new creativity can burst forth in you in 2022? What forms of new creation can you use to worship the Most High? You think that saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, God, or raising your hands or, you know, jumping up and down, that's just praise and worship. No, it's endless. It's endless. I might go a little too deep when I say this for some of you is too deep, but a married man and woman, when they're having sexual intercourse, that is a form of praise and worship to the creator. It is. And it is a form of creative expression. How so, prophet? A baby comes out of it. And to create, to procreate, is following one of the commandments of creator, of creation, which is to replicate and replenish the earth. So sex between a married couple is worship. It is praise. The bodies without getting too graphic, are praising. They're creating a vibration, which is a praise. All right, some of y'all say I'm going too deep, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Um, Jesus is deserving of all of you. This isn't a surface ministry, so I'm just letting you know. You come over here, you're gonna get it real raw, and it's gonna be deep. So if you like surface stuff, you know, there are tons of other people online that can give you that. Jesus is deserving of all of you. I don't believe he is the type to um, get offended easily and start snatching away blessings because you fail to acknowledge him. Nah. Bad religious teaching. I have you thinking like that. As if he's insecure. But. However, you will not truly be blessed and covered from the calamity that happens to the proud and arrogant ones. You want to be in a humble state of being continually as you go about your life and ministering in your unique ways. Everyone isn't called to be behind the pulpit. Can we all just sit with that for a minute and just understand that, get that through our thick skulls? Everybody is not called to be behind a pulpit in a church, a physical church. Listen to what I'm about to say. For some, their pulpit is social media, the workplace, the hospital, medical field, the government, on the street corners, some in prison, while imprisoned, amen, etc. I'm asking you this. Are you full of you, on you, and you run an E on Jesus? One more time. Are you full of you or full on you and running on E on Jesus? Are you stuck self-loving, self-love, which is not bad, don't get me wrong, but are you stuck in that vibration Stuck on self-loving and lacking some loving on Jesus and Jesus loving on you. I just I just want to know if you are so busy loving yourself. And for some of us self-sacrificing folk loving on others. What room does Jesus have to show you real love? You have put something instead of Christ. And that's the true meaning of antichrist. It means instead of Christ or in place of Christ or something else in the place where Christ should be. 
listen, this has been a season where even I had to do a wellness check. You know what I'm saying? I had to do a wellness check on my own salvation because I ain't heard from it in a while. You know, no recall turns or texts, nothing. So I had to just wanted to make sure that it wasn't dead and stinking up an apartment, decomposing. Listen, so when I went to go check, he was dead, but he was depressed and in a shut in for a very long time. So I had to bust the door down and let Jesus, the maintenance man, do what he does. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for that. So. Take this time and we're closing to rededicate yourselves and get back on the narrow road and stay off the wide road, which leads to destruction. Now, listen to this. Listen at this. Do you know the symbolism of the road being wide? Because it is wide, you have a lot of space to have fun and get into all types of things. And it's not necessarily easy to fall off the road because the road is wide. In fact, it's very easy to stay on the wider road. But on the other hand, on the narrow road, it's more likely, it's more than likely a one way. But if it's not, if you just jerk the wheel a little too hard, you will be flying into a ravine somewhere and end up in the forest. You have to watch your speed on the narrow road. You hear me? You don't wanna damage your vehicle on the narrow road. See, the narrow road is designed to get you to your destination safely. And because there isn't a whole bunch of drivers on the narrow road, you're actually way less likely to get into an accident. Yes, it may take a little longer, it seems, to get to your destination, but I promise it's less traffic. And it's a straight shot to your destination. And when you aren't speeding, you get to enjoy the sights and details that the noisy, busy, and chaotic wide road doesn't have time to enjoy. So be encouraged and give your all to Jesus. For the first time, some of you, and it will be a restart for some others. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food that we've just received. We thank you. We ask in this moment that you would just forgive us, cleanse us completely, detox us, receive us back into the fold, receive us back where we have fallen, restore back to us where we have fell from. Give us a restart, Father. Give us a restart, Jesus. We give you everything that pertains to us. Everything, person, places, and things. We now give you ownership, Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, Yahushua, Yahushua, Hamashiach. Please fill us afresh with the set apart spirit, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Ru'Allah. Please fill us. Fill us, fill us, fill us. Fill us till we can't be filled no more. Fill us to overflowing dimensions. Thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you, Jesus. 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 And does anybody watch it right now and you are not a follower of the Lord and you want to give your life to him? Just repeat this simple prayer with me. It's simple, but in this magnitude, it is not simple. But just repeat this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. 
and I'm asking for complete forgiveness of sins. Wash me whiter than snow. Purify my soul and my spirit and subject my flesh to your will, your way, and your word. Please save me so that I may worship you and reign with you in heaven forever. Please accept me as your disciple right now. Change my life, make me brand new. And I ask for the infilling and baptism of fire and baptism and sealing of the set apart spirit, the Ruach Ha Kodesh, the Holy Spirit. I ask these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yahoshua Ha Mashiach of Netzeret. Amen. 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 So be it. So if you said that prayer, I'm telling you, your life has begun to change in ways unlike others. And if you like messages like these, please hit that like button, comment your thoughts, your prayers, subscribe and hit the bell. And do me a favor, share this video with everybody who you feel in your spirit might need to hear this message of give your all to Jesus. Once again, my name is Voyager Shemaya, Voyaging Through the Heavens, and this is Healing Hearts Prophetic Ministry. God bless. And if you'd like to donate as well, please do abundantly with your best offering. Be a blessing. Be a blessing, be a blessing, be a blessing to the work of the gospel. All of the information on how to do that is in the description box of this video. So please do so. And I'll be looking forward to hear, hearing from you and seeing you again. Peace and blessings.